the spiny anteaters, or echidnas, make up four of the five species in the order Minotromata. These are primitive mammals that lay eggs like reptiles, but have hair and suckle their young. One species of spiny anteater, Tachyglossus acolytis, lives in Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea. The other three species, in the genus Zaglossus spp, live only in New Guinea, further study may actually find them to be one species. The sixth monotreme species is the platypus, Ornithorhynchus natinus, which bears little resemblance to the spiny anteaters, apart from the egg-laying characteristic. Monotremes lay eggs and have an internal bone structure for limbs that emerge from the sides of their body. These features are similar to those of reptiles. Also, like reptiles, as well as birds, they have a cloaca, or a single chamber into which the intestine, bladder, and reproductive organs all empty. However, monotremes also have hair, produce milk, and are warm-blooded. Their ability to keep their body temperature constant is not always very successful, so these animals may hibernate during cool weather. A small organ located on the hind legs of the male gave the spiny anteaters their name of echidna, which means adder, because it is connected to a poison gland. However, the fluid is not really very poisonous, and the animals are more likely to try to escape by digging when in danger. Spiny anteaters have powerful claws that let them furiously dig dirt, sending it flying sideways. As they do this they appear to sink into the ground, their back protected by tough, sharp spines. A spiny anteater looks very much like a porcupine, and is often given that common name because it has numerous yellow-colored spines covering its brown furred body. Unlike porcupine spines, however, those of the spiny anteater do not have bubs that catch in the skin. When in danger, the 30-inch, 76 centimeters, long spiny anteater will often curl up into an impenetrable ball. Its face leaves no doubt that it is not a porcupine, being stretched forward into a slender, hairless snout with nostrils on the end. The tiny mouth, located on the bottom of the snout, opens only wide enough for a long, sticky tongue to emerge and haul in its food of termites and ants. A spiny anteater has no teeth. Instead, it chops up the tough bodies of its insect prey by smashing them against the roof of its mouth with its spiny tongue.